Welcome to another in our series of InterGraph CAD Works and Analysis Solutions videos featuring Caesar 2. We start by opening Caesar 2. We'll pull in our original pipe stress model of this 30 inch system running between the two skids. Here's the model. Open the input for this system. Take a look at the geometry on the right side. Straight section, 245 degree elbows, a 90 degree elbow, and then another straight section into the, the next skid. Several supports along the way. Perform the analysis by making a batch run. Caesar 2 model runs, and as we talked about earlier, the system was not overstressed. In fact, it was about 13% of the maximum allowable stress. So we see that here. So this was the original model. So now the user wanted us to put in those two very flexible two inch branches. So we'll close this input and go to the next model that has the two inch branches included. So this is the standard B313 analysis of this system. Here are the two flexible two inch branches. You see that each of the two inch branches has four elbows, four 90 degree elbows providing flexibility. So there's plenty of two inch pipe here. But what we're going to see is that these two inch branch connections produce an obviously silly stress intensification factor for the MY or out of plane moments about the run pipe. We perform the batch analysis. See that the system is overstressed. And find out that just by adding these two very flexible two inch pipes that we've gone from 13% of the allowable to 103% of the allowable. And since the out of plane moment is the large moment on the run pipe, this is what WRC 329 was talking about as obviously silly. The new SIF equations in 0702 correct this problem, as does a finite element analysis. So we'll open FEA tools. We'll start the Caesar translator. We'll pull in the model that we just ran that had the two inch flexible branches included that we just saw was 103% overstressed. FEA Tools generates the model automatically or the model name, the new model name automatically. We press the convert button with 0702 because it's a set of regression equations. The conversion is made almost instantaneously. There's a nice text report generated from FEA Tools for FEA and for 0702 conversions that lists each unique intersection in the model and gives the calculated SIF and flexibility data so that you can compare them here against B313 SIFs and Ks. At the bottom of the input it includes each of the geometries that were modified and shows how the new nodes if any were added to the piping system. And that's what we're what we're seeing here. We now have a new Caesar 2 piping model. So we can change the input and point to the new C2 file. We'll open it and take a quick look. 
noting that we've got a number of new restraints around the branch connections of interest. The restraints are used to provide the 0702 or the FEA flexibilities in the appropriate locations. We perform the batch analysis on the modified C2 model and when we pull it up we can see that clearly there's no overstresses and when we go and check the local stresses at the branch connections we see that they've returned to about the 13 percent that they should have been all along so changing this model because of uh, an overstressed conditions due to adding the two inch branches would have been obviously silly in this this calculation so let's take a quick look at another piping system where warm gas is going into a small electrostatic precipitator shown here on the left. In the Caesar II model we include the rectangular duct piping as a structural model and also the round piping as a, a typical B31 type piping model. The displacements of the system when it heats up are shown here. The smaller branch lines are 26 by half inch and the large manifold line is 40 inch diameter with half inch wall. Clearly these D over T ratios are greater than 35 and we expect that we might get some relief with more accurate K factor. When we run this analysis with the B313 K equals 1 flexibility factors, the system shows to be overstressed. So we'd like to see if we're going to get or can possibly get relief using K factors from either an FEA analysis or from the STLLC 0702 correlation equations. So let's pull up PRGIK spreadsheet. Here's the FEA tools main menu. Here's where we get the PRGIK SIFS and K spreadsheet. We'll pull that spreadsheet up and enter our first 40 by half inch wall branch connection. Click on the compute button and see that for STLLC 0702 unreinforced fabricated tees, we have in-plane and out-of-plane flexibility factors of 16 and 36. When we come down and compare those to the Widera 497 values, we get 17 and 36. So there's pretty good agreement here between what are considered the, the latest technology in developing K factors for branch connections. Of course, this is the B313 data that we use by default, which is K equal to 1. So we think we might get some relief if we put accurate or ask for accurate K factors to be inserted in our Caesar 2 model. So we'll definitely run the Caesar 2 file translator on this job. With K factors equal to 1, the piping was shown to be overstressed. Let's go ahead and insert the 0702 values automatically and see if that gives us any stress relief. Thank you for sharing your time with us. For Caesar 2 news, success stories, and free webinars, please Google Caesar Insider Blog.